Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Today I want to show you how to schedule resource availability, and I'm going to show you how to do that logged in as admin as well as logged in as a resource. To begin, start on your calendar and click that availability link up top. Our first step is to select our resource. Just click the drop down and select the name. Once you've selected the resource, now you're going to use that smaller calendar above to choose the days that they're going to be unavailable. And you can do a single day at a time, or you can do multiples. For this instance, we're going to choose three different days. And now this first day, she's only going to be unavailable for a partial day. So make sure that you choose a partial day if there's only a few hours that they'll be unavailable. So we'll do 8 to 11, and you can put a comment in there if you'd like. And now the next two days, she's just going to be off all day long, so there's no need to change that to a partial day or even put a time in. You can just leave that as is. Once again, you can add a note if you'd like. And always remember to update to save your changes. Now you can go back to your calendar, and you'll look and see, oh my gosh, where are my jobs? Don't panic. Go to the top right of the screen. And in the view preferences, just make sure that you choose all resources. It does automatically divert back to that resource you were just using. And now you can look at the calendar in different views for the week, for the month, and see that that resource availability now appears. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like from our resources point of view when they are logged in. Once again, they have that availability link at the top of their calendar. Click on that. And once you do, you'll see the same screen pop up. Now she can use that same small calendar there to choose the other day that she'll be unavailable. And once you do, you'll see that that date appears at the bottom of the list. And now keep in mind, even though it appears that they have a drop down, only their name will appear there. So once again, she's just going to be unavailable for a few hours during the day. So she's going to mark that as a partial day. Put in the hours, she'll be unavailable, and update. Now your resource can go back to their calendar view and see that her days are shown there in the month view, week view, day as well.